after you're done completing a job, you'll probably want to change the door styles since customers do want different door styles. And the way you do that is to go up to doors in KCD. When you click on doors, you can come down to where it says change doors on this job. When I click on that, this is going to be how I change doors for the entire job, kind of a global setting. Now, you noticed here, I just clicked on this. This gives me a lot of different types of doors. We have well over 300 door styles built into the program just to make it a little easier for you. Um, but if you pick on flat, you get in variations of flat doors. If you pick on uh, arch panel, you get different combinations of arch panel doors. And you can just come through applied molding and it, it goes on for a long ways. You could also come down here and just click on each one of these little arrows pointing down and it goes by right down the list of different groups and you can pick and choose what you want now what typically happens is people know pretty much what they they want more often uh, in this case you know here we have a cathedral arch raised panel and uh, square raised panel here and if you look at where it says top door crp that's the reason why this is a cathedral raised panel is because this was selected to be so. The drawer front, if we were to look behind this uh, little page here, you would see the drawer fronts are raised panel. And if we um, want to bring this back over, I can so we can see it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change this to uh, shaker style, more of a flat panel. And notice I have a square flat panel here. I just hold my mouse button on that, the left one, drag it up to the top door, and then grab it over here on the right again, bring it over to my base door. And if I scroll down a little bit in this list, you'll see that these smaller drawer fronts, these are set to have smaller top and bottom rails. Um, you can set that under your door details also, uh, as far as the exact size. I'm going to bring that up to the drawer front, and I'm going to set in this room. Now notice everything just changed in front of us. And this also changes in pricing. And if you build your five piece doors there, this will calculate just for the flat panel doors instead of the raised. So everything is, is um, parametric when you start changing things. Now, we just ended up changing the overall global setting of the doors here. If I wanted to take just, let's say the doors off of this section, I can hold my control key down on my CTRL key on my keyboard. Notice a little door pops up on my mouse. And then if I put it over the doors I want to change, I can click on it and it shows me a picture above of what I'm changing it to. And I'm just holding the control key down and I keep clicking on it. Now notice that would make it open right now if I let go, so I'm going to. Now let's say we want this to be glass doors. I can hold the control key, click on it, come through some of my choices and I'll start coming to some glass door choices. Now I don't see what I want in here right now so I'm going to go back up to doors, change doors on this job and notice over on the extra doors right here what we were rotating through were these three doors up here, no door and then these other six doors right here, the extra doors. So I wanted some square panel doors in there, so I'm just going to bring in some of these here so I have them as an option. Maybe the four light down here. And we've got a square glass. And keep in mind, there's lots of doors. We have mirrored doors. We have speaker doors. We have, you name it. Uh, let's, let's come down further into the, the wire uh, stained glass. You can get into some pretty odd things in the software. So we'll just throw that one in here just so you can see it. And I'm going to set in this room. Now, keep in mind, we didn't actually change any of the others to glass doors yet. So I'm going to hold my control key down, click on this, and keep rotating through until I get to a glass door I think would make sense. And I'm either going to go that route or maybe the four. We'll do the four. Now, if we keep going... Notice I come to that strange one I did, the, the wire glass one. And let's just make these glass doors over here. So this is the exception to the rule. 
And that's how you change doors in the program. You just go up to doors, change doors on this job, grab what you want over on the right side. If you don't see what you want, come in this list, find it, bring it over to your top door, your drawer front, your base door. And if you need any other doors that are non-standard for the job, just put them in your extra doors so you can set in this room, hold the control key down and click on the door you want to change. 